For the next week. They listed the parish's 10 most wanted men. Number one, we have Junior Bennett, OC Omar, OC Big Shot. He's wanted for murder. Number two, um, the Morrison brothers, Stanford and Eric Morrison. Both are wanted for murder and two counts of wounding with intent. Three, Mr. Brian Samuels, also wanted for murder. Lassell's Wright, O.C. Bayer, or Stella, is also wanted for murder. Juno Clark, O.C. Tickchess, is also wanted for wounding with intent. Tawain Ellis, wanted for shooting with intent. And Colin McFarlane and Christian Davis, wanted for wounding with intent. Superintendent Russell is urging the men to move swiftly to turn over themselves to the police. We are asking them to turn themselves into the police. We are also asking persons who know of the whereabouts of these persons to contact the police. They can contact us at 119-311 or they can contact the nearest police station to them. The officer says it's crucial the residents support the police in ridding their communities of criminals. Bless up, welcome back to the movement. So right now, quick and fast, my viewers. Want to like the one, share the one. Leave a comment down below in the comment section. The one is one of the hot topic. So right now, the wanted man, they might get nab. The guns, they might get fined. The JCF, I go on with a bag of things. So quick and fast, we have to give some thumbs up to the JCF them for some wonderful work we will see them put in from the other day so right now i want to press like on that one i want to shoot the video to at least 1k likes i beg you quick and fast 1000 likes i beg you on that video moment of silence till the 1k likes drop in Let's go. Violence producers nab in major operation by security force. Two individuals who the police have described as influential violence producers were nabbed by a joint anti-gang task force, JAGTF, during a major operation in Jarrett Lane, area of Mountain View Avenue in the corporate area. On Wednesday, March 3rd, the two were among a group of 25 men who were detained by the security force. One of the two reputed violence producers who were the primary targets of the operations has been identified as Ricardo Higgins, otherwise called Bob, who was listed as being wanted on the national wanted person list. The other man is considered a person of interest in relation to several crimes in the area. The JAGTF swooped down on the area of operation at about 4 a.m. 
aiming to disrupt the movements of criminals in the space. At the end of the operation, the two reputed violence producers, a 23-year-old man, were taken into custody. The security force are encouraging citizens to partner with the police by reporting illegal activities in their communities as well as telling the police where the guns and gunmen are. Persons are being urged to call the Crime Stop at 311 or the NIB tip line at 811 to give information. My viewers, I know you uh, might have prayed and say we are not in farm around here and things like those but it's not same it's an informer thing but I know you say you know, the people in our community want to be safe also so right now if you don't know them there Give them up. You don't have to call none of them. Just tell the feds them where them are. Cool? Modern market coming for a Portmore, say Desmond Mackenzie. A modern market is being constructed for the municipality of Portmore, according to the Minister of Labour, of Local Government and Rural Development, Mr. Mackenzie himself. He said, Two locations are presently being considered to situate the facility. Mackenzie was responding to questions during Thursday, March 3rd meeting of the Standing Finance Committee of the House of Representatives. He said the decision to establish a market in Portmore was made before the recent focus of the municipality become a parish. Mackenzie said more details about the undertaking are to be provided during his presentation in sectoral debates. The Standing Finance Committee of the House of Representatives is presently deliberating the 2022-23 to 23 estimates of the expansion. So viewers, put more people all heap of things are come from nowhere. But quick and fast, we have a little news one you know, before they upload up. The NEPA plans to release 1,000 iguana in El Shail. So right now, quick and fast, the people are afraid that iguana run and go hide very fast. The National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, aims to release 1,000 Jamaican iguanas in El Hills, sent catching by 2026, as the iguana population grows under the effort some of you are this other thing there. These are a few of the updates we want for you now. Right now. But quick and fast, we are giving you a little update on the COVID-19 before the upload done. 10 COVID-19 deaths, 34 new cases recorded on Thursday. Jamaica recorded 34 new COVID-19 cases over a 24-hour period up to Thursday afternoon. With 10 deaths. Some of you are this one. It there pertaining to the COVID. So right now, just like that one here. Bless up. 